each of those events occurring are low. Okay, it does not imply that because the probability is low, it means those events were guided by an in, an ex, an intelligence. Uh, this is the problem about um um uh, the intelligent uh, design, the 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 design, the designer, the the William Paley's watchmaker. For every complex watch, there must be a watchmaker. No, there must not be a watchmaker unless you, you can actively demonstrate that it is God who, who fine-tuned the atoms, who set the mass of the atom, who set the charge of the electron. And how do you begin to demonstrate that it was the intelligence that we postulated in the beginning, which we've not even have enough time to exert, that that intelligence now is now interfering and, and, and setting the mass of an atom and setting which spin an electron has so that it can produce this kind of an outcome. What kind of a complex intelligence begins to, 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 to set those things up? You, you have to start demonstrate. How do you begin to demonstrate such a thing? Yes, science, science has not been able to demonstrate it, all right? As well as we have not been able to understand, all right, this intelligence. That's why it is called an intelligence. We've not been able to understand it. Even, even, the, even the, the astrophysicists, all right, who actually uh, came up with the Big Bang theory, all right, they too, all right, they don't understand, all right, this energy. They don't really understand it. It's an, it was an incomprehensible uh, uh, singularity and energy that was involved. What energy? They don't understand it. What energy are you referring to? We're talking about the Big Bang theory here. 